Hello everybody. Welcome to Word Shard. Today we are going to start with a very simple poem television written by Roald Dahl. Okay, so television, the poem television is for, for the ICAC students for classes 9 and class 10. And uh, we will start the poem. Let's read the first lines. As we go on, we will see the figure of speech, the easy explanations, the meanings of the words. As you have always seen that I write the meanings in red. So if you find the word difficult, then you can write down the meaning of the word in your books. Obviously, write it with a pencil. Okay. The most important thing, weave. Weave means it is written in short form. We have learned. What is the most important thing that we have learned? That is, so far as children are concerned, is never, never, never let them near your television set. So, what is this poem trying to say? This poem says that the most important thing that we have learned is that whenever children are concerned, that means for the sake of children, for the sake of the little ones, we need to be very careful that we do not install the television set or at least do not allow the children to go and sit in front of that television set. What is that television set? It is also called the idiotic thing. We call it idiot box, isn't it? So the, it is an idiotic thing. Why is it called an idiotic thing? Because it just shows you certain things and you just gulp it. You go on eating it. You don't think, you don't imagine, your fantasies are dead. You just go on looking at the screen and you just take whatever is given to you. Okay. So, it is better that we don't install the idiotic thing in our house. We just don't put a, put a television set in our house because if there is a television set in our house, we will want to go and sit in front of the set and watch a little bit of television, isn't it? But there are a huge number of shows in the television that is shown through the television media where we see Certain things which are very baseless, not at all important and stupid. Okay, so that is why according to the poet, television is a very important, very, the most important thing that we have to remove from our house. If it is there in our house, we need to keep our children away from the television set. Now he gives certain reasons why we should do that. See, in almost every house we have been, that means in whichever house we have visited, we have watched them gaping at the screen. This word gaping is a difficult word. It might be a difficult word for you, but I haven't written the meaning because you can see the picture. See, when you look at something with your eyes wide open, just like this, then it is called gaping. So, how are the children looking at the television set? They are open-eyed. Okay, They look at the television set open-eyed because maybe a favorite show is going on. Maybe the cartoon network is on. Maybe certain things which they like, certain movies, those are on. And they are going on gulping it. They are going on eating it like anything with their, with their eyes wide open. Okay, Now, how do they watch? They loll and slop and lounge about. That means they sit just like this frog. The children sit on the sofa set, on the bed, on the bed or different places or on the floor. They will sit without any proper posture. Do you think the, the way the frog is sitting is a right posture? Is the right way you should sit? No, you will have back aches. You know, you will have pain in your back, in your backbone. It will pain if you sit like this for long. So, it is a bad posture. So, the children will just sit in that relaxed manner and stare. Stare means constantly look at something with your eyes wide open until their eyes pop out. They are so interested to watch that show in the TV. What will they do? They will open their eyes wide to watch. And it will seem that their eyeballs, the circular ones, those eyeballs will fall off from their eye sockets. And 
it will be on the floor because it is a it is a kind of exaggeration then the poet is trying to point out that the way they look at the television set they eat stupid things that is shown in the tv it is it seems that their eyes will pop out they are so interested in watching all that trash okay last week in someone's place we saw a dozen eyeballs on the floor now this part is a figure of speech what kind of figure of speech you can try to think see a figure of speech when you exaggerate something where you try to point out something in a great way which is often an exaggeration for example if i say i love you for 1000 years for 1000 years i will not be alive to love you but still i am saying this why does i do i say it i say it to show that i will love you a lot and for all those years that i live i exaggerate to show how much i will love you in the same way the poet says that when he visited one person's house there were dozen eyeballs on the floor that means dozen means 12 how many eyeballs a person has two eyeballs that means there are six children who were sitting on there were six children who were sitting on the floor and they were looking at the tv set with open eyes okay it seemed that their eyes eyeballs will fall off from the eye socket okay that means they were hypnotized they were looking at the tv like anything they could not even move their eyeballs they were so interested in the show they sit and stare and stare and sit until they are hypnotized i already used the word hypnotized hypnotized means when you are attracted to something a great deal when your mother calls and also you cannot move from uh, in from in front of the television set you will you will say no i cannot go mother because i am very busy watching the show now you cannot even move your eyeballs this way that way because your eyes are fixed to the television set okay so you seem to be hypnotized in that show by it until they are absolutely drunk with all that shocking ghastly junk ghastly means horrible junk means waste whatever is shown in the television sets is sometimes very stupid sometimes rubbish nowadays in the you see that the serials that go on those episodes they are so stupid it seems they are so stupid yet you just want to sit there and watch it what is it offering you it is offering you trash stupid waste still you waste your time in that so that is why the television is a very uh, you know it is a it is offering you ghastly junk it is offering you only waste material and you are accepting all that waste material those horrible waste for nothing oh yes we know it keeps them still they don't climb out of the window sill so what does the poet say the poet says that yes by if you allow your child to sit in front of the tv and watch tv then they will not move they will not make a lot of fuss they will not run about here and there they will not fight with their brothers and sisters they will not climb out the window sill what is a window sill see when you go near a window you will see that there is a front part in front of the window there is a part where you can keep maybe a uh, um, a pot or you can keep your uh, glass of uh, when you, you can keep your cup of tea or something or you can keep a glass in that place okay so this part is the window sill now previously they had open windows and people could just children could just jump out of the window okay so naughty children used to do that now if you place a television set in the house then children will no more be that naughty they will just sit in front of the tv and will not move here and there or jump out of the window sill they never fight or kick or punch they leave you free to cook the lunch now there are certain benefits also if you allow the children to watch tv then there are certain benefits benefit number 1 they will sit still they will not bother their parents number 2 they will not jump out of the window sill number 3 they never fight or kick or punch so they will not fight with their brothers and sisters this is point number 3 point number 4 they will leave you free to cook the lunch now parents have a number of works to do isn't it they will have to cook the lunch they have to wash the dishes in the sink so they the child if the children sits si- sit silently if the children don't bother their parents then the parent will also be able to cook and wash the dishes so these are also the benefits of allowing 
the child to watch TV? But did you ever stop to think, now whom is the poet questioning? The poet is questioning the parent. That yes, do you ever ask yourself to wonder just exactly what this does to your beloved tot? Tot means child. So he says that do you ever think that you are allow allowing your child to watch TV? But how does it affect the child? It has certain effects on your child. If you allow that child to sit in front of the TV and watch those stupid things, then it will have an impact on the child. Now, do you ever think about that? The poet asks whom? Does the poet ask the child? No, the poet asks this question to the parent who allows their child to watch the TV. Now, uh, one more thing that I will mention over here is try not to write TV try, because that is a short form. Normally in English literature, English language, any language, we do not use short forms. Okay, so we will try and write television. Clear? Now we'll move to the next part. It rots the sense. Now you see this part is written in capital letter. Why? Because the poet is trying to highlight certain things in the poem. The theme of the poem. The poet tries to highlight the main theme of the poem. What is the main theme? The main theme is that the, the TV or the television has a harmful impact on children. What are those harmful impacts that he is going to mention over here? If you watch a lot of TV, then what will happen? It rots the sense in the head. That means your brain works in a proper logical manner, isn't it? You have a sense, isn't it? Common sense and intellect that you have in yourself. Now that will stop working if you go on accepting stupid nonsensical stuff, isn't it? It kills imagination dead. Imagination means Imagination means the creative ability. The children are the ones who have a lot of creative ability. Even children are better than the grown-up ones in their creative ability. They can create better than the adults also. So that child must, the parent must be careful about what he or she is offering her child to see. If that child is constantly watching stupid things, then that creative ability will be lost. And once it is lost, then what will you be left with? There will be nothing in your head that you can nurture, isn't it? It clogs and clutters up the mind. Clogs means it blocks. Have you seen a drain or have you seen a pipe that is clogged? That means, for example, if you see this picture, over here, see, the sink is clogged. There is, all, there is water all over here. Why is the water all around, all inside the sink. It, why is it not passing through the pipe? Because the pipe is blocked or the pipe is clogged. Okay. What is the poet trying to mean by these words? He tries to point out that if you constantly watch all that stupid thing in the TV, then what will happen? Slowly, slowly, your imagination, your cre creative ability will be blocked. You will waste everything because your mind will be blocked with stupid things. Just like this pipe is blocked with rubbish. Clear? Yeah. Next. It makes a child so dull and blind, he can no longer understand a fantasy, a fairyland. So if you constantly offer those stupid things to the child, then slowly, slowly, the child's power to fantasize, to imagine certain things, all those fairyland, all those fantasy, the imaginative ability, the creative ability, everything will be lost. The child will become what? The child will become dull and blind. This does not mean that you will not be able to see with your eyes. This means that you will not be, your brain will not be able to work properly. If your brain has stopped working properly, then even if you see something, your brain will not be able to understand it or imagine it in a better way. Okay. Next. And see if you constantly look into the TV, then you will miss a lot of things. For example, if you go to Darjeeling and you go on watching TV because your cartoon channel is on and you can see certain things over there or you can watch your favorite show over there. What are you missing? You are missing the beautiful uh, scenery outside, isn't it? So many beautiful pretty birds, the mountains, the sun rising over the mountains, the hills, the, uh, the greenery around. You will miss everything 
and your imagination your creative ability all those will rot in your head will be wasted in your head okay next so this part is an important uh, th part that uh, questions may come from here and if if a question from television comes then this part is important it will obviously be there so it's better if you write it down somewhere in your book see what i have written television has an impact sorry ha has a negative impact on children so this part is important all through the poem the poet is trying to point out that television is not good for children it has a harmful effect on the children it kills imagination and creative ability very important line throughout i'm speaking about this only it makes them dull and restricts them from experiencing the world's fantasies very world is a very beautiful place there you can imagine a lot of things you can find you can uh, go for adventures you can see a lot of things you can think about them in a different manner okay there are so many things to do and you have few years only soon maybe some day you will die so it is better to enjoy yourself to the utmost and not to waste time watching tv always the children only sees as the ability to think the children only sees as the ability to think is destroyed the children goes on seeing certain things on the tv and their ability to think is destroyed completely they will not be able to think beyond that they will see whatever is shown to them okay next his brain becomes as soft as cheese his powers of thinking rust and freeze <clears throat> excuse me rust and freeze what do you mean by rust and freeze see i think you have all obviously seen this these things you have, if you leave a metal outside then you see these reddish brown things on top of it okay this is called the rust when rust forms over a metal then you cannot change it or you cannot use it in the in the way you have used it previously it cannot be reused in the same way or you will not get back the same quality of that metal okay in the same way your brain will also rust if you constantly st uh, look into those stupid things therefore we need to keep ourselves away from the television set not always at least at least you have to understand the harmful impact of television on you okay next we'll move to the next part he cannot think he only see so that child has lost the power to think because he has constantly accepted all those stupid junk that is shown to him in the tv and he only goes on seeing because he cannot think by himself he think he he sees only what is shown to him all right you will cry all right you will say but if we take the set away what shall we do to entertain our darling children now the parents might ask that if we remove the television then our children will be again bothering us so much then how will we entertain or how will we keep our children busy please explain the parents will ask the or uh, the poet then what will i answer we will answer this by asking you what use the darling wants to do how use they keep themselves contented before this monster was invented what is this monster this monster means the television set now before the television set was invented then also little children were there isn't it so then we have to think that what those little children used to do when there was no television set how could they be still or how could they be quiet what would they do in their pastime now the poet answers it have you forgotten don't you know we will say it very loud and slow loud and slow means we will tell it to you very clearly what they used to do they used to read they would read and read and read and read and then proceed to read some more now what is highlighted over here why is the word read repeated because that is the thing that you need to do so that your creative ability gets better why because when you are reading something you can interpret it in many ways you can imagine it in whichever way possible whichever way you want there your brain is working but if i am showing you something if i am showing you see this is what happens then you will not imagine isn't it your imagination your capability to imagination is stopped capability to imagine is stopped is cut short 
so you need to read when you are reading a book by of harry potter and when you are watching the movie same the movie of harry potter they are two separate experiences it is a complete diff- just try to do this try to read the book of harry potter you will see that your mind is capable of imagining far better than what you were shown in the television okay you can see you will be completely in that mysterious magical world where harry potter was when you are reading the book and it is a completely separate kind of experience that you will have but when you are watching the tv when you are watching the same harry potter show in the tv then you are shown then everything is in front of you then there is no need to imagine only then your brain does not even need to work you are shown and you are just taking it you are not thinking about it okay but reading a book you think a lot therefore reading is obviously better than watching a show in the tv okay now this i will continue the rest of the part in the next uh, class but before that before we end the class there are figures of speech also from here so we will do that see figure of speech is very very easy over here first one is rhyme scheme rhyme scheme means when you are when there is a rhyme pattern when the lines rhyme with one another so the each line rhymes with the next one here see there is one example how used they keep themselves contented before this monster was invented so contented rhymes with invented next we move to the next two lines have you forgotten don't you know so no we will say it very loud and slow so contented comes with invented no rhymes with slow so rhyme scheme you have understood next we'll move to the second one which is repetition this the throughout the poem i am telling you that there are certain lines certain words certain phrases which is repeated throughout the poem why to emphasize the importance in it so the word that you have to mention is emphasize the poet tries to emphasize certain things it is purposeful there is a purpose behind it and brings out the main theme of the poem the main theme is what that there is a huge amount of negative impact if you watch tv and that is what the poet tries or uh, tries to make us feel and understand that is why he emphasizes by repeating certain words for example is never 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 three times is repeated what them near your television set he tries to highlight that no it is very bad if you put a television set for your children to watch then your children's creative ability will be lost which no parent will want isn't it next personification this one you have done a number of times personification is a figure of speech where human attributes are provided to inanimate things so it kills imagination dead so imagination is not a human being so imagination is dying a human being dies a living thing dies imagination is not a living thing that is dying so when imagination is given human attributes that is life then it is called personification last one i have already talked about it hyperbole hyperbole is something where you are exaggerating to emphasize something you exaggerate to emphasize a certain things example last week in someone's place this is a very important question it often comes in your exam last week in someone's place we saw a dozen eyeballs on the floor so he tries to point out that there were six children who were sitting on the floor watching tv and they were watching it so um you know they were they were staring at the television set as if their eyeballs would fall out from the eye socket okay so he tries to exaggerate it that the eyeballs were almost on the floor okay to show the immense interest of the children in watching the tv in just staring at the tv set so this part is what we will do this is what we are going to do for today and in the next class we'll do the rest of it i hope this part is uh you know you have been able to understand whatever i have done in this part it is a very simple poem i know you can understand even while reading it try to read and understand on your own if you require the help then my video is there you can follow the lines you can write down the meanings and help yourself and also most importantly the figure of speech is uh, the figures of speech are important because questions may come from here okay thank you i hope you like my video if you have liked it please comment subscribe and share with your friends bye bye